Yes, <laughs> because this is often known as the queen of the south. This is our hardy infinity crepe myrtle. So normally the problem was you could only grow these in the south. This is a winter hardy variety. And this is more of a shrub versus the traditional tree, so you can grow it in containers. This available today on three easy payments of $8.80 free shipping and handling, and a choice of colors. You're seeing that beautiful, vivid magenta. And we also have an orchid choice for you, M67198. I want to welcome in Devin Walleen. Devin, so you were telling me this is something that maybe you would see in the Carolinas or down in Georgia. Yeah. But us up in here Absolutely. in Pennsylvania, we were falling short. We couldn't grow these. Totally. I know I fell in love with it. A lot of people that live in the northern areas, we fall in love with this plant when we go and visit the Carolinas or go into the South and we see them in bloom. And they call it the queen of the South because when they're in bloom down there, they just bloom along the top and it looks like this crown of beautiful flowers. Um, so they call it the queen. Actually, I just made that up, but I think that's why they might call it the queen of the South. <laughs> but they, they actually call it the queen of the South because it's an awesome plant. But until now, you couldn't grow crepe myrtles in the north because they just couldn't handle those winter temperatures. And let's say if you're living at a townhouse like we're living in, you may not have room for a big old tree or a 30-foot tall shrub. What's the solution? This infinitini crepe myrtle. Because now this is a crepe myrtle that is perfectly suitable for a small garden because these only grow about three feet around, tall and wide, and... So the name Infinitini is kind of a play on infinity and, and teeny. So the infinity part is that they bloom, like they just continually bloom. It's like an in, infinity amount of blooms starting in the early summer and lasting all the way through the fall. So rather than just having a few short weeks of blooms in the fall, like the ones in the South do, now you're getting months of flowers on a plant that can handle winters in Pennsylvania and Illinois and Massachusetts. So that's what I love about this plant. Well, Devin, and speaking of large, well, speaking of blooms, oh, sorry. <laughs> let's talk the colors real quick because we're totally. getting limited in some of the choices. So we have it in the magenta, that beautiful hot pink uh -huh. is definitely going to be a standout in the garden and only 600 remain in the magenta choice. But then Devin, our other color is the orchid, which we're down to the last 300 in the orchid. Wow. How beautiful, well, this soft purpley lavender color. It's such a beautiful uh, standout. Yeah, and you know, if you're if you're watching right now, hop on the phones, get, go online and get a couple of these. This is a shrub that you really want to get like three or four of them. Mm -hmm. Plant them in a gorgeous clump. I love to see them kind of grouped in, in odd numbers, whether that's three or five. And it kind of creates this, this beautiful, harmonious look. Maybe you get three of the orchid and two of the magenta. Mm -hmm. Or you can just kind of create a beautiful flowering hedge. And imagine, you can see the flowers on these plants are vivid. They're called the crepe myrtle because the flowers look kind of like crepe, per, crepe paper. And they are so richly colored. There's nothing like it. <laughs> flowering shrubs are my favorite category of plants because they add that girth, they add that meatiness to your garden, um, and they flower. And this is one of the most special flowering shrubs that you can put in your garden. And it's something that every gardener should really, really be thinking about adding a couple of these to their garden this year. Well, if you've ever had the pleasure of visiting, you know, maybe Savannah, Georgia, or you've been to South Carolina, maybe you've been to Charleston, North Carolina, you've probably seen crepe myrtle in tree form. This is more of a shrub. And Devin, tell me, we're getting this one gallon pot, which is so well established. Like this yeah. is a, this is a good plant to start with. How long before we get from here to what I'm seeing in our large container? Yeah. So what you're seeing on the container is probably by the end of the second season. Oh, but good. like you said, you will be, uh, we will be shipping you guys these beautiful one gallon containers free of charge directly to your door. And we've teamed up with the group called Proven Winners. And basically we teamed up with them. Um, Proven Winners is a brand that only provides plants, only grows plants that have really special characteristics that go above and beyond any other kind of plant in that category. And when it comes to the Infinitini crepe myrtle, what you're getting is a crepe myrtle that is nice and compact for one. For two, it is a crepe myrtle that can grow in the northern gardens because this is a crepe myrtle that is winter 
party. And for three, this is a crepe myrtle that's gonna bloom like three to four times as long as those non-winter hardy crepe myrtles that you would find down in the south. So you're getting, you're, you're getting the very best uh, winter hardy crepe myrtle that any garden could grow. And we're seeing the beautiful colors in the garden. There is yeah. a choice you have to make. Would you like the magenta, which is that beautiful, vivid, hot pink that stands out so much against the green foliage? Or do you like the orchid, that softer side? Still colorful, still eye-catching. Um, this definitely has curb appeal. Your choice, the orchid, a little bit more limited than the magenta. So in the orchid, we have 250 sets left to go around, and then a few more in the magenta. Um, magenta is very popular, I will mention. Yeah. M67198 well, is the item number. Easy pay and free shipping to your door. Um, so, so, Devin, when it comes to care and maintenance, what do I need to know? Well, this is one of the reasons that I love shrubs is because once you get shrubs in the ground, yes, the first season you want to make sure that it stays nice and well watered, but after that, shrubs create really deep root systems so that you don't have to baby it. You don't have to worry about it nature will take care of them. So this is a shrub. I recommend getting three or four of these, dotting them around the garden, create a beautiful flowering hedge, create a nice clump. They're very, very easy to grow, but the flowers are some of the brightest and most colorful flowers that your garden will ever see. Oh, looks beautiful, Devin. All right, we're going to see you in just a second. I do want to remind you, this hour of Roberta's Unique Gardens, one of our last for the season. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty. You can always shop QVC.com for more from the Roberta's.